Hey gang, it's Squill, and Prisoners of Love marks our formal introduction to my favorite fictional character of all time, that being Simon Petrikov, aka the Ice King. Well, not counting the pilot, I guess. And as such, this makes for a fairly important episode, seeing as Ice King is inarguably the most important character behind Finn, Jake, and PB. But how well does this episode introduce the world to our favorite mentally ill old man? Well, let's find out! Before we discuss anything related to the Ice King himself, I want to briefly mention this opening sequence. Probably one of the most iconic moments of the first season, and for good reason. Just a really fun and high energy sequence with some nice visuals of the Ice Kingdom. Not to mention how cool it is to see our two boys just hang out. The first of many sequences of its ilk. I've always found the shot of Finn and Jake in the Ice Cave to be rather impressive. Very seamless integration of CG here. But as for the IK himself, he's definitely characterized a little differently here than he will be in the rest of the show. We get a bit more of an aggressive Ice King here, one who's treated a little more seriously as a threat. This isn't to say that his goofier traits aren't here at all, but he's definitely closer to Plankton here than he is Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Really, the most jarring thing related to Ice King in this episode for me is just how much Finn hates the guy. Seriously, the way Finn freaks the hell out at him, it's crazy. You watch enough of the later seasons where Finn and Ice King are basically friends, you sort of forget that Finn nearly wanted the dude dead at a certain point. But I don't personally view these differences as inconsistencies, rather as a sign of character development. The show stopped treating Ice King as a serious threat because Finn and Jake stopped viewing him as a serious threat. You gotta remember that this was before bigger threats such as the Lich started showing up. At this point in the series, Ice King probably was the most dangerous person Finn had encountered. Besides, the most important aspects of Ice King's characterization are certainly present here. Those being his loneliness and insecurities. He so desperately seeks the princess's approval here. His depressed loneliness was definitely baked into his character from day one. I always feel so bad for him when he goes into the cage to dance with the princesses, only for Finn to just kick the shit out of him. It's definitely interesting that the show wants us to feel sympathy for Ice King, even in his first episode. Alongside Ice King, this episode also serves as our introduction to many of the princess characters. Namely, Emerald Princess, Wildberry Princess, Ghost Princess, Slime Princess, Raggedy Princess, and Hot Dog Princess. LSP is also here, though she was introduced in last episode's Trouble in Lumpy Space. Because so many of them are introduced at once, none of them are really given all that much in the way of characterization. We learned that Slime Princess has a crush on Finn, so that's... something, I guess. I was never the biggest fan of most of the princesses crushing on Finn in the early seasons. I'm glad it was mostly dropped after season 2. This episode also gives us our very first cosmic owl scene, though it is also his strangest. His voice sounds very different here, and he's not used to foreshadow anything like he normally does. I mean, I don't think there's an episode about Ice King floating around in space. Pretty sure that was Finn. But this is still a pretty interesting final scene for Ice King in this episode, as he contemplates if him being a magic user is why people don't like him. This was probably unintentional, but I do have to wonder if this scene implies that Ice King is at least subconsciously somewhat aware that him putting on the crown is what drove people away. People who are once important to him, such as Betty and Marceline. Either way, this line was definitely an interesting choice. Overall, Prisoners of Love is a solid early episode of Adventure Time. Definitely not one of Ice King's better episodes, but it works well as our introduction to him. The story here is pretty by the basics, but it's the little things that make this one so memorable. Please let me know your thoughts on Prisoners of Love in the comments, and have a good one. Squill out.